<laughs> Jackie Dean. Thank you, Mr Speaker. On the Ministry for Primary Industries receiving notification from Fonterra about a potential contamination issue relating to whey protein concentrate that had tested positive for um, food poisoning bacteria that could cause botulisms, uh, botulism officials immediately swung into action. Uh, we in the government established a ministerial response team and a number of briefings, meetings and teleconferences have been held um, over the past couple of days since the issue first came to the regulator, regulator's attention and was brought to government's attention. So MPI has had staff in Fonterra's Hautapu plant, which is the site of the contamination, conducting testing and also in nutritious offices assisting with the tracking of infant formula that may contain the co contaminated whey protein. MPI has also put officials into Fonterra's data centres with its agreement and full cooperation to assist in getting absolute clarity on the situation as it's unfolded. The situation continues to remain fluid. Ministers in this debate, and speaking previously, have, uh, have outlined their response and reaction. And the information changed a number of times, and that is why officials in the government have been and will continue to take a conservative, a precautionary uh, approach until we can get absolute clarity over the situation. Mr Speaker, prices at Fonterra's international dairy auction dipped overnight the first to be held since the dairy giant's milk formula contamination scare, first time since it became public. But economists have uh, noted that there should be no cause for alarm. Prices dipped a modest 2.4 per cent compared to the previous sale two weeks ago. The total volume of products sold at auction did increase, however, to a record 60,587 uh, tonnes, and that was up slightly. So the results confirmed that there has not been a material market impact on Fonterra's prices from the contamination issue, and that international demand for our dairy products remains strong. So that does not let us off the hook in any way, but it does remind us of the importance of the agricultural sector to the New Zealand economy. And I will be unashamedly parochial in uh, my next few comments because the Lower South Island and in particular the Waitaki electorate um, is one of the major contributors to uh, New Zealand's economy based on the agricultural sector. The ongoing economic impact of farming activities in South Canterbury, in North Otago, in Central Otago, which are all areas within my electric, the economic impact is significant. If, I'm, if I think about close to home, my house looks down on the Fonterra milk transfer station. And when the milk season is underway, there is a continual stream of milk tankers from the south and from the north converging on this milk transfer station in Omaru, that continual stream of milk tankers running day and night, 24 hours, um, transferring the milk to the, various, um, uh, to, the, to the various milk treatment stations. Um, the Waitaki Valley, if I go up the valley a little bit, 30 years ago was a place of uh, barren, dry, stony waste. And with the introduction of the Upper Waitaki and Lower Waitaki Irrigation Company's activities, that landscape has now been transformed. It is green, there are still sheep, there are still deer, there are still cropping, there is an awful lot of dairying. And with that dairying comes things like houses up roads, where there was one house, there are now ten houses. With those houses come kids, those kids go to school, those uh, parents they uh, go into town, they go to the supermarket, they go to the rural supply stores, the vet, uh, the vet comes to them and they go to the vet. The economic activity that is associated with our dairying industry shouldn't be underestimated. If I look at the North Otago Irrigation Company, um, 10,000 hectares under irrigation, in five years under uh, irrigation, 
Farm expenditure has increased 310%. There have been 76 extra jobs coming to our region. Order. It is important for New Zealand. Mr Speaker. Chris Hipkins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, New Zealand. Important for New Zealand.